So today we had um, um, two cases of um, uh, percutaneous um, closure of left atrial appendage. Uh, the first case was a gentleman, a 68 year old gentleman with paroxysmal atrial fibrillation. So, and uh, he had uh, issues with his anticoagulation treatment. He was on um, coumarins, which actually were causing troubles of bleeding. La investigațiile făcute de doamna doctor s-a depistat că undeva în, în atriul stâng, fiind mai mare, se produceau cheaguri de sânge, întrucât nu se elimina tot sângele pe artere. Și acolo, rămânând sânge, se îngroșa și se produceau cheaguri. În luna iunie am avut un accident vascular minor, secundar, și la indicația doamnei doctor Postu Alexandra m-am internat și mi-a, dumneai, mi-a indicat să fac ablație și un dispozitiv, să pun un dispozitiv watchman, watchman. So it's like a parachute device which, which has a filter, so uh, uh, it's a relatively simple procedure for the electrophysiologist, the interventional electrophysiologist, because we have um, huge experience from uh, atrial fibrillation ablations. Uh, so we use the vein, the big vein of the leg, and with a catheter we uh, go to the uh, right side of the heart and then with a fine needle to the left side of the heart and then through the sheath we deliver uh, the device into the appendix. This has been done by fluoroscopy as well as uh, ultrasound guidance, so it's very safe and very accurate. It usually takes uh, 30 to 45 minutes. The patient is under uh, general anesthesia for his own convenience and our convenience. And um, um, the uh, success rate in the last registry uh, the evolution registry that's been uh, published in the American Heart Rhythm Journal uh, is uh, a 99.7 percent, which is a massive number for for any procedure, any cardiology procedure. The fear car has a certain emotion when, 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 occluded the, the left atrial appendix. Uh, we followed them up for a year and we saw that uh, the stroke rate was 1.1%. So we had an 84% reduction of the stroke rate in one year's time. Uh, the second case, it's a kind of a more fortunate uh, patient. Um, he's, um, 74 year old gentleman who on uh, warfarin um, and with uh, normal uh, INR uh, he had a uh, clot in his uh, left atrial appendix. Uh, the um, uh, cardio team who was looking after him elected to uh, change the warfarin to a, one of the new anticoagulants um, and uh, unfortunately uh, being on the new anticoagulants he had a stroke which led to um, uh, spits and right side uh, uh, paralysis. Uh, unfortunately, this, ins this is persisting uh, for the last uh, two months. And uh, he came here today uh, to uh, have a percutaneous uh, left atrial appendix uh, closure. What it means is that um, uh, being on permanent AF and having no um, effect uh, or uh, protection by the anticoagulants, he's now more safe uh, because uh, we have sealed the, uh, the left atrial appendix and um, um, he hopefully won't need any anticoagulation uh, in the future. Hey, do the place quit. So uh, we hope that he will have a reasonable recovery from his stroke, but it only shows how important it is to protect the people any way we can from that um, uh, uh, catastrophic event. Because uh, the stroke that comes from atrial fibrillation leaves um, uh, behind um, uh, patients with uh, 
disabilities. It's now uh, five years collecting data from um, um, this specific device and uh, adding up all the results and uh, um, um, looking at the meta-analysis, which means that we're taking all these patients and we put them on a, on a database. We see that um, uh, the procedure itself is uh, very useful for a specific group of patients and this is probably the patients that do have problems with their anticoagulants. This means that their anticoagulants, either the, the anticoagulants uh, do not protect them well or they put them at risk of uh, bleeding. These are the two group of patients that they probably will benefit uh, from uh, the procedure.